Okie dokie. Uh, in this video, we're going to be adding in a uh, favicon to our uh, the local host blog here. Um, and then as well as adding in a, uh, a favicon, we're also going to get some um, um, offline uh, progressive web app goodness out of this as well, um, because we're going to be using it with um, something called the um, Gatsby plugin um, manifest, um, which is uh, another plugin which we're going to use uh, in conjunction with Gatsby plugin offline. Uh, but let's just uh, plug in, plug on, plug in manifest. Uh, because there was a time um, I used to use uh, Favicon, Gatsby plugin Favicon. Uh, which it looks like it's this, but um, this this um, broke my builds quite often. Um, not to say that it's a bad thing, um, but um, I have found that using the uh, the manifest here is um, a lot less brittle. So we want to add in uh, to our site Gatsby plugin manifest and also Gatsby plugin. Um, offline, so yarn add, yarn add, and uh, I've had it added previously to a different site. These two go hand in hand, and uh, we want to configure those. So um, if we go back to the uh, the docs for for Gatsby here, uh, for the plugin, we'll see that it's a large configuration object. Um, we're just going to use this default here. And obviously we're gonna we're gonna rename some things in our site. So we're gonna put that there. And then uh, we're also gonna add in SB plugin uh, offline. Cool. So um and what it is we need for this as well is the icon, which is gonna come from a path in but we're gonna have that in our site metadata. So I'm going to and we're going to call it Favicon. Um, and then if you go to the um, uh, like the Gatsby documentation here, um, and you go right down the bottom, we've got something called logos and assets, um, which I've got here. And basically, we want this monogram, which is what we're going to use for now um, for the uh, icon here. So if we look for icon. Um, auto generation generates multiple icon sizes for a single source that's Favicon support. Um, and uh, this, I've never actually got to this sort of part of the documentation. I've always just added in, um, what is that? Just added in icon to this options object and then used that. So um, if we go to um, this has been monogram, which is um, sorry, I just downloaded this um, this zip file here. And this is all of the, the Gatsby goodness. So I'm going to use Gatsby monogram SVG. Just going to pop that into my um, bag folder here. Drag and drop, and then I'm going to call this Favicon. Um, and then in our Gatsby config, um, I'm going to put it into our site metadata. Favicon, and that would be in dot static. Uh, wow, Scott. Static. <laughs> Favicon dot uh, SVG. Um, and then also let's take these colors here as background color and theme color. Let's just put these into the configuration object here as well. Um, background color, theme color. Let's give that a save. And just add these in here as the site metadata. 
the background color and the Blackmess data thin color. And then we can just change these in one place uh, further down the line when we want to change them. But for now, they're just configured with this. And then we have uh, Gatsby plugin offline down here. So let's give it a name. And it is the local host blog and the short name TLHB. And start URL is the root. Hit save. And then go to our terminal. And um, oh, it looks like it was running already. Kill that, start it again. And then I think this will, um, yes, it will rebuild the cache for us. So there might be a bit of a wait while we wait for this to rebuild. Um, and then we should have our page pop up uh, with our nice fav icon, fav icon, so the left of little main site here. So get rid of this and this and this oops I just closed <laughs> I just closed it. Um oh no I didn't I thought I closed the uh, logo host page there. Get rid of that and that and um just our just let's just revisit this um from uh previously the um um, robots.txt and the uh, manifest um, online I built um, we've got an error Let's quickly check this uh, static oh dot favicum so that should build again so while we're waiting for that um, we'll just revisit uh, what I did in the previous video for uh, robots.txt and for the manif um, for the site map um, basically I had to build the site before kicking it off to Netlify deploy um, which I did um, and then I got let's just do it again um, then I got a um, like a build URL where it was um, which is something like this and if I hold down control and click it should open it up in a browser window for me and I'm hoping that this is just a transfer of files to, to the CDN, so there shouldn't be any building involved. There we go, deploy successful. And if we say preview build here, um, oh, it doesn't appear to have built. So, um, what we're going to need to do is sort of build this offline. Um, let's do this now. Do yarn build. And while that's doing its thing, we can take a look at um page here we should have oh here we go it's just finishing off the development bundle so we should have our dev page pop open any second now i don't think uh running the the, the two in conjunction is helping things much but um i want to get this done so we can quickly demonstrate this as well um page isn't loading at all. A bit strange. Why is that? Let me think in nothing in the terminal. So um take a look at this. That seems fine, that seems fine. And that seems fine. Background colour for take further corners VG should all be should be fine but it's not why is that maybe maybe we'll try it with a, a PNG rather than an SVG uh, let's try that okay uh, let's just change that into PNG save that off the dev server again um, and we'll take a look at our web page so um, once this is built which appears to have been here 
but I don't think it's going to work because of what we've just gone over um, with the SVG. I thought SVG was a valid file format for um, the uh, plugin manifest. Possibly not. So um, let's just wait for the dev server to finish and uh, we'll take a look, um, see what comes of that. Um, so this here, the build, um, I'm going to build this again, push it off to Netlify, and then demonstrate the um, uh, the robots.txt, how you access that, and the uh, sitemap as well. But um, just want to wait for the, the favicon here to, to finish building, and then we'll have our sort of offline support as well for, for the blog. Um, go, and there we go. There's the um, uh, the favicon, the top left there. So it must be that you can't use. Um, SVG for Refavicon, um, which I didn't know. So um, let's build this now again uh, with Yarn build, Yarn Gatsby build. So that's just that YB is just my um, uh, alias for that. So um, once this is built, we should just be able to push this up to um, Netlify, no problem with Netlify deploy. Um, Host seems to have died. Probably because I'm building at the same time as I'm running a dev server, so let's just close that for now. And then we'll take a look at um, the the build site once it's pushed up to, to Netlify. Um, but while it's happening, um, I can close these off. Um, <clears throat> actually, before we do that, let's, um, let's just validate that they are on Netlify. So uh, Netlify app dot Netlify. Here we go. The reason why I'm um, just pushing manually to Netlify rather than having it as a uh, uh, build um, integration with GitHub is because the uh, the build minutes I was burning through way too many build minutes per month, and um, just I just thought it'd be a lot more straightforward if I just manage this site this way. So, um, use preferred config, I think that is production one. We'll go to deploys here. Maybe this one. Take a look. Okay, so this is a working one. So if I do forward slash uh, robots dot txt, um, then we've got our robots configuration. And we should be able to do the same for sitemap, sitemap.xml. And then we've got our all of our site pages there detailed as well. So um, let's just do it for this one. It should be a lot quicker this time. It's literally just pushing the files off to Netlify rather than have anything build. And then we, we should also have our um, so if we just bring this tab back here, um, not that one, this one. This should also have the um, Favicon as well, but at the moment it doesn't. So just as a uh, like a, a sanity check, let's go to the built URL here, and then we should be able to preview it, and we should get our Favicon. On the top left here which we do so we can move these all to done um, and then uh, we can take a look at uh, adding images to blog posts and there's still some more um, uh, plugins need to be configured for videos and stuff like that but there was quite an interesting looking plugin I saw the other day which was still early days development, but I want to see if that is uh, up and running before we go any further with that. So that is it for our uh, configuring our Favicon. Uh, and we've also configured offline support um, for that as well. Let's give it SVG, we don't need this now. Um, so that, there you go. 
thanks for watching um i hope you found some of that useful um and that one anymore and um uh, yep yeah. so uh, in the next one we'll be just doing more configuration and uh, we're just going to be adding to this as we go because at the moment it's dog ugly this sort of thing um so there's a lot of work we need to do with it so um, i hope you join me in uh, the next one where we'll be doing um we're going to be doing uh, images for the posts here because at the moment you just get um, like a broken image so that's uh, one which needs to be added in before we can sort of go to a v1 release um, but that's it for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you did please remember to uh, like and subscribe i really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot um, so thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye